Oh yeah, I, I love what I do and um, I love that I get to help develop these programs and uh, work with the kids. I don't know if I could uh, be a, ever be a teacher and do it all day long, but doing it for a couple <laughs> hours and stuff is very fun. Okay. Yeah, I think letting them taste it, letting them try it, um, you know, that's the biggest thing, you know. I mean, the little people here, like, like for example, with those peppers, I thought, okay, so I did, we had peppers, that was what it was on the grant, and so I thought, well, I'll get red, yellow, and green, because that'll be pretty, you know, you'll get a couple little strips of each one in your cup, and, mm -hmm. and it'll look, you know, eye-appealing, and, and they loved them, like, so much, like, I had quite a bit left over, they cleared them out for lunch and begged me to bring them back the next day, but if you don't get them to try it here when they're little, by the time they get over there, um, well, and, and the biggest thing I find is like, okay, B lunch is junior high. Um, it's our biggest group of number of people um, that come. And it's more important to get your spot, your table, your seat, and be by your friend than it is to wait in the line to go around the salad bar and get a piece of fruit or some vegetable. And, um, you know, and a lot of the kids will go through the line as they shouldn't to the cashier before they go to the salad bar. They really should have all five food groups on their plate before they check out. But that, you know, that doesn't happen in a perfect world. But yeah, so that's more important. That's what it is, because they had to go sit down, they had to sit by the food. And it's like, if you partake in a fruit and a vegetable, you know, and there's plenty of choices on the salad bar and stuff. You can't tell me you're really hungry. Now, if that's all you want to eat is mini corn dogs, yeah, I guess if you're, you know, a growing kid, you know, five of those isn't going to cut. But if right. you ate an apple and you made a nice tossed salad, and maybe they need someone to change things. You know, I mean, if somebody's not going to step out of the box and expand breakfast or, you know, make some homemade choices or, or just, you know, they definitely need someone, you know, if I get hit by a bus and die tomorrow, they need to re <laughs> replace me with somebody who doesn't have to do what everyone what pleases everyone else. Because trust you me, I have not pleased everyone else um, around me in the kitchen. <laughs> it's great to have people that um, love working for the school and love being around children and have been here for a hundred years. That's great. But sometimes that's all you've had in your environment. Mm -hmm. um, bringing about that change is a little more difficult to grasp. And in the beginning, I just observed, you know, what they did, and I said, well, why do you do that? Why do you do that? And, and if I could, they couldn't give me a, a valid reason, I just kept asking the question and pushing, um, because I guess being that it came from more of an office accounting background, when I asked those questions, I just legitimately wanted to know the answers. I didn't ask them because I was being mean or persnickety or whatever. I, I knew I needed to learn from these people. Mm -hmm. And um, I just wanted to know why. If, you know, I go to the salad bar at Big Boy and everything's kept under temp and you've got Tom set up or whatever, um, why are you throwing out everything at the end of the day? Uh -huh. Well, I greatly appreciate community support. Um, People have been very encouraging and very nice and, you know, very seldom do I hear too much negative, um, so, but I mean, I appreciate any feedback I get, you know, um, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, um, so, I hope they continue to support the things we do here at school and, and join in classes like this and opportunities, you know. I can't say anybody that's taken the classes, like, because Renee makes some thought surveys and stuff like that. I mean, everybody always says they enjoy it. They appreciate it. They take home groceries. They learn so much. I mean, even if you just learn a couple of tidbits and stuff, I mean, it kind of, and like I said, it's free, you know? Who would, I guess maybe I'm kind of quirky, but who would want to take a <laughs> free class with their kids that they didn't have to pay for, you know, mm -hmm. and still get to do something fun? I would expose them to as many things as you can. You know, I mean, stop at your neighbors. I mean, most people, if they plant a garden and stuff like that, they can't eat all that stuff in there. And my mom has said, it because she's got bad knee, and, and she'll say, if you want to come and pick it, you can have it. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I've told people that before. Stop. Just pick stuff out of my garden. You know, take it home. Try it. Um, I mean, I remember trying to feed asparagus to this one little girl, 
another story from years ago, and the mom was like, oh no, she don't like that. We were like, really? Has she ever tried it? Because you know, I roasted it, and it's not like out of a can, and oh no, she's never had it before, but she won't like it. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't know, parents need to be a little more open-minded. Oh. I've had some, some funny kids that um, really have an interest in cooking, but are the, the pickiest eaters, like Leanne. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and there was a couple other that took um, a class at the secondary building this past year and stuff. But I'm like really glad that they did because then they tried stuff and they were like, wow, I, I do like it. Because I'd say, you know, um, well, one thing I learned and I tried to tell the kids in class and stuff like that is you got to, like Renee will ask you to eat the serving if you want the treat or something, but um, is take a thank you bite. Mm -hmm. So... Um, my kids had a Head Start teacher, you know, Head Start lunches sort of family style, and you need to take a thank you bite and thank the person that cooked it for you. If you don't like it, that's fine, but you, you know, you taste it. And you definitely, like, you learn a lot of stuff from little people and what they like or what they think of something, or let's try it this way or put this on it. Um, so, yeah, yeah, you learn a lot from 